before we start our lesson, just bow your heads and uh, I'll lead us in a word of prayer. Father, before we study your word, we ask for your spirit to open our minds and give us uh, understanding to help us comprehend your word and, and the message, powerful message you have for us. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen. Amen. And so our, our lesson and our Bible reading is found in Genesis uh, 41, um, 49 verses 1 to 28, 49 verses 1 to 28. Before we touch on it, <clears throat> I, I just wanted to ask, um, if you, each and every one of us has a name, uh, and whether you know and understand the meaning of your name and where it came from, where it derived from, and why your parents, whether it was your mom or your dad, named you that name, uh, and the significance, the purpose of your name, and whether you understand that your name has purpose or not, but to God, your name is very special. Each and every one of us uh, and our names, God knows off by heart, amen? And so he knows each and every one of us and our names, whether we're babies, whether we're grown adults, whether we're elderly, and so um, I want to ask some of us, because each and every one of us has a name, whether you know your name and the purpose of your name, the significance of your name, um, and where your name came from, because everybody's name um, has a story. And so I want to ask uh, Mother Diana this morning, um, who named you, Mom? And um, do you know the purpose of your name? He saw a, a movie star named Diana, and he wanted to name you. That's special, amen. And, and um, oh wow! Well, so he knew you had a gift. So it came with a blessing, uh -huh. amen. Um, Alita, do you know the the meaning of your name? Uh, what was that one? Indian princess. Esther. Yes. Queen Esther from the Bible. Yes. Alita. Oh, uh, so she has two names that both are royal names. I didn't know that, but amen. <laughs> uh, how about um, that side? Taurus, do you understand your name? of your name, Anton, and, and why your, your parents named you, or who named you, your mom or your dad? My mom, she was watching a movie before she gave birth to me, you know, about the, um, black American who made the Navy SEALs, her name was Antoine, but she just seemed to the Anton to make it shorter. Oh, amen. So you are like a, <coughs> a movie star, so uh, something about movie stars, eh? Something about uh, our mother's uh, 
wants you to pass on and bless uh, the children. Uh, what about uh, Mrs. Kashmir? Uh, you want to share us your name? So my Hollywood name is Facebook is Kashmir Love, but <laughs> but no one can find me unless they know. And then for her, you know, there's this dessert in America called Kashmir. Yeah, she named me. Uh, that's my tag name. So just gifts and meal. Yeah, and I just add love because I'm full of it. That's why your life is. I got a lot of atheists. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of idiots, Emily, Sarah, Natasha, so Big Corp can't find me. But <laughs> Mom, can you explain why? <laughs> it looks like um, Kashmir is a, a name of uh, the famous soap in America at those days. Yes. It had such a beautiful perfume aroma yes. in it. But uh, Natasha, it's a Japanese name. <coughs> One of Pastor Willie's doctors. Uh, he um, he came. His wife said to name uh, her an, uh, the famous uh, princess of uh, Japan named Natasha. Oh, I didn't know that. That's so the first time I know that. So that's where Natasha. we name Arigato. her Natasha. Asamashita. She's from <laughs> Japan. <laughs> Emily, yes. Emily is um, as an, uh, one of the nurse, Pisa, you know Pisa Malo Pisa? Yes. Her, her mother was a, a nurse at the time, and she wants me, please put my name Emily inside. That's where Emily comes from. Amen. And Sarah? Sarah? Sarah. Because she has a lot of names. You know. <laughs> uh, so. Emily, from Sarah, the, Natasha. From the Bible, but the oh, okay. finally, the strong woman in the Bible. Yes, that's why she gives birth at a later. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Um, hello, Natasha, do you know the meaning of your name? And, and who named you? And your mom or your dad? My uncle Ali named me. It was Satasha, but mom and dad didn't like it, so they named it. They named me Satasha. Satasha. Oh, okay. You know what it means? No. no. Okay. Um, what about Trinity? You want to share with us your name? So, oh, sorry. So my mom made me Trinity. Uh, I think it was my mom and Auntie Lotha. I don't know. Lotha. Lotha said it was her. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but my name means the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. That's all I So you were born out of this church. Yeah. <laughs> You're a, a, a first fruit of uh, the Trinity movement or the Trinity Church or Karashia. Amen. Amen. And so um, your name has a blessing. Each and every one of us, our name has a blessing. And uh, Amen. Praise God. Uh, and then there are uh, those of us who uh, are named after each other. Um, uh, siblings have named their kids or their uh, nieces and nephews named after each other to carry on that legacy, to carry on that name. Uh, there's about three Willies, amen. <laughs> and, 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 and Willie Jr., maybe I'll ask you. Uh, who named you? Was it mom or was it dad? <laughs> you never regret it. Naming you uh, <laughs> the, uh, w the one of the Willies. Hey, and, and so it's a famous name. <clears throat> so do you hear people, uh, your Willie, Pastor Willie's son, or now uh, 
<clears throat> now when you go and you travel, you make a name for yourself. Amen. And so the blessing is passed on to you. And so this, this Sabbath, our lesson is about the power of your name and how powerful and significant your name is and how God blessed you blessed you uniquely out of every individual in this world. You were blessed, firstly, through your name. And through your name comes the blessing of God. And what you do with your name, um, through your name, and the purpose, how it came about. See, mothers uh, may have named their, their sons or their daughters a certain name according to their emotion and what they were feeling or what they had at the time, whether they had that name stuck in them uh, a long time and just waited for God to bless them with a child. And so, um, I know Sophie named uh, Sarah, Layla, Sarah. So which, is come, which comes first, Sarah or Layla? Layla, Layla, Sarah, so named after her mom, but also named after her auntie, Layla, who passed away, amen? And Tony named after, do you know the significance of your name? Yes. And how it was derived? <laughs> uh, I was named after Tony Falso. Um, was he a, an ambassador? Yes. He was an ambassador of New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> So each name is not only significant, it's not only important, it's not only powerful because uh, your parent named it, but it's also powerful because it was a name that came out of a season or a time. And, and because of that season, because of that time, your name was born, you know? And, and, and Tony was born uh, because he's the first, first born of the first grandchild, he was born uh, when Natasha was going through a struggle in her life and, and, and when she was in pain, Tony was the one that comforted her, you know. He comforted her that she felt so um, confident to name her son after him. Amen? And, and so each and every one of us has a story behind our names. And just as God told Jacob that he would have 12 sons, and out of those 12 sons, each one had a significant name and a purpose, and out of those 12 sons that are remembered today, they were blessed, and they are remembered today, you know, but um, you got to remember that they were also, with the, those sons, not only did they have the right to be blessed, but if they forfeit that right, that means if they forgot where that blessing came from, God would take away that blessing and what would be given in return would be a curse. And that's not what we want today. We want to have the blessings. And so I'm going to share with you the 12 sons of Jacob and the blessing that he gave to each and every one of them. And so uh, let's read. Um, let me just go through up on our screen. Uh, Jacob's 12 sons. He had 12 sons, and then they put together. It's hidden also the gospel of Jesus revealed through these 12 sons' names. Okay. The 12, um, I just want us to go to the uh, Bible reading first. Uh, in Genesis 49, uh, we'll start off with verse 1 and, and just hold it there for a sec. And then we go from uh, after I, I just explained verse 1, then we'll go right through to verse um, 28. Okay, so uh, let's all read Genesis 49, verse 1. And Jacob called his sons and said, Gather together that I may tell you what shall befall you in the last day. Okay. In other words, uh, before blessed his sons, and, and each son had a blessing. 
he said to them that I'm going to tell you something that's going to happen not in your time, but in the last days. In, in other words, uh, he's bringing a prophetic message. So out of uh, these 12 sons came the prophecy of the Messiah. Out of these 12 sons came the salvation of mankind. So for us, <clears throat> there's a blessing that comes out of the sons of Jacob. Um, does anybody know how many, um, the, the order of the names of the son? Okay. Okay. Reuben first, eh? Okay. Let, let's read the scriptures, okay? Um, Genesis 49, verses 2 to 28. Let us read. Gather together and hear you sons of Jacob, and listen to Israel, your father. Reuben, you are my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power. Unstable as water, you shall not excel, because you went up to your father's bed, then you defiled it. He went up to my couch. Now, just hold it there. Reuben is, is what? Reuben is the, is the firstborn, you know? And, and, and you think that the Bible doesn't have any dramas or soap operas. Or, man, some crazy stuff happened in the Bible and it's very real. But here, Reuben is the firstborn. In other words, Reuben was meant to get what? If you're the firstborn, you're supposed to get... <coughs> You're supposed to get the blessing, the Father's blessing. There are three blessings that the Father gets. Um, I'm not going to really, I'm just going to slightly touch on it right now. It's three blessings. It's a priestly blessing. It's a uh, kingly blessing. And it's a inheritance blessing. That means the inheritance, they get a double portion. The priestly blessing is that they become uh, a mediator. That means heaven answers their prayers. They get the blessing of heaven. When they pray, heaven opens its windows to hear uh, their words. And so their words do not fall on deaf ears. That's the first blessing that the, the firstborn gets. Second blessing is a kingly blessing. Kingly blessing is that um, they, they have they have the they have been given the power and authority okay and so the uh, kingly blessing it's like uh, kings hold a scepter they hold the power the authority and it's given to the firstborn okay that's, that's another blessing and the third blessing is the double portion the double portion is uh, an inheritance. You remember the story of the prodigal son? And, and the firstborn missed that, that blessing because they, the younger son took it. He took his inheritance. was meant to be for the firstborn, but the younger prodigal son wanted it. Remember the other blessing? Who took the other blessing? Um, who remember the story of uh, uh, it was Jacob. Jacob. Remember? It was meant to be for his older brother his twin brother Esau, but because Esau uh, fought less, he fought less of God's blessings, okay? And so he sold out, he sold out his blessing to his brother over a meal because he was so hungry. And so his brother took it. <clears throat> That's why Jacob's name is called Supplanter because he deceived his brother and getting the blessing because to him the things of God were more important than his brother Esau okay so uh, as we break down these verses okay Reuben I, I said to you that the mother uh, who was Re Reuben's mom remember Jacob had two wives and they were two sisters the eldest of them was Leah okay and the youngest was Rachel Okay, now Leah bore how many kids to Jacob? No. 
No, don't get it. It's six. You've got to study your Bible. Six kids. Now, the four, four of them he had first. Okay, those four were Reuben. Reuben means behold thy son. Okay? Behold, a son is born to us. When Leah uh, had Reuben, man, because, because the uncle, which was Uncle Laban, uh, had a daughter named Leah and Rachel, but Jacob what? Jacob loved Rachel. Man, he wanted Rachel, but, you know, after working seven years, he, um, he, Laban, his uncle, tricked him. Okay? So karma comes back. The same thing that happened in Jacob's life <clears throat> when he deceived his brother, that karma came back through his uncle, okay? And so the uncle Laban deceived him and he married Leah. He deceived him and he covered up Leah thinking that that was Rachel, but when he got married, that was actually Leah. And so he ended up marrying Leah and Rachel, okay? And so, in, in having Leah, Reuben was the first. Who was the second? Simeon. What does Simeon mean? One who hears. God heareth. And so, Leah, she cried out and she wanted her hubby's attention. She wanted hubby to listen to her. She wanted his, his love. So, her firstborn, she named him Reuben, that behold, Jacob, this is your son, you know? And then she named the second son, Simeon, one who hears, God hears my cry for my husband. I want and yearn for his love, but he's not giving it in return. And so as, as fickle and as crazy as life is, out of this craziness, God still had a plan. God still used these names. You know, they may have came from the season that at, of the time that they were in. And so Simeon, <clears throat> the next son was Levi, okay, which means joined or attached, okay. And, and who was Leah's next son? Judah. And so um, we just read it to Judah. Uh, let's read it so we get a wider understanding. Uh, verse 5. Genesis 49, verse 5. Carry on. Cruelty. Let not my soul enter their council. Let not my honor be united to their assembly. For in their anger they slew a man, and in their self-will they hamstrung an ox. Cursed be their anger, for it is fierce, and their wrath, for it is cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. Um, I'll, just, I'll just share with you a bit about this. Um, Simeon and Levi, the Bible has written uh, a certain phase in their life. Now, um, these two brothers, did you know that Jacob had a daughter named Dina? Well, she was actually born... Um, uh, from Jacob, from Leah, and so um, Dina. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And so um, these are the first four children of Jacob to to Leah. Okay. And so Levi and Simeon, they were like um, the brothers that were treacherous, and so they had revenge on uh, a certain prince of Shechem who defiled uh, their sister Dina. And so that's why these verses are talking about Simeon and Levi. Let us read about Judah in verse 8. Judah, you are, hang on, let me just, so that we can all hear and read in unison. Judah. You are he whom brothers shall praise. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's children shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, you have gone up. He bows down, he lies down as a lion, and as a lion who shall 
rouse him. The scepter, <clears throat> remember I talked to you about a scepter uh, is the authority coming from a king. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. In other words, out of Judah will come a king. Out of Judah will come the Messiah. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh comes, peace comes, and to him shall be the obedience of the people, binding his donkey to the vine and his donkey's colt to the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood of grace. His eyes are darker than wine and his teeth whiter than milk. It's talking about Jesus, talking about the sacrifice that he makes. Okay, let's read uh, verse 13, continue. Zebulon shall dwell by the haven of the sea. He shall became, become a haven for ships, and his border shall adjourn, adjoin Sidon. Issachar is a strong donkey lying down between two burdens. He saw that rest was good and that the land was pleasant. He bowed his shoulder to bear a burden and became a band of slaves. Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan shall be a serpent by the way, a viper by the path that bites the horse heels so that the, its rider shall fall backward. I have waited for your salvation, O Lord. Gad, a troop shall tramp upon him, but he shall triumph at last. Bread from Asher shall be rich, and he shall yield royal dainties. Naphtali is a deer let loose. He uses beautiful words. Joseph is fruitful bow, bow. A fruitful bow by a well. His branches run over the wall. The archers have bitterly grieved him, shot at him, and hated him. But his bow remained in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From there is a shepherd, the stone of Israel, by the God of your father who will help you. And by the Almighty who will bless you with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lies beneath, blessings of the breast and of the womb, the blessings of your Father have excelled the blessings of my ancestors. Up to the utmost bound of the everlasting hills, they shall be on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of him who was separate from his brothers. Benjamin is a ravenous wolf in the morning he shall devour the prey, and at night he shall divide the spoil. <clears throat> All these are the twelve tribes of Israel, and this is what their father spoke to them. And he blessed them, and he blessed each one according to his. Okay, amen. Um, as you read, there are three tribes that were actually really blessed out of the twelve tribes. Jacob's blessing that was meant for the firstborn being Reuben was divided to these three tribes. Uh, who got the priestly blessing? You know which tribe got it? Levi. Levi. Amen, Elizabeth. Levi got the priestly blessing. As you read it there, Levi got the priestly blessing that was meant for the firstborn. Who got the uh, king, uh, kingly blessing. Who? Judah. Out of Judah will come who? <laughs> Judah means praise the Lord. And Judah, there is a captain. During the time of Moses, there was a captain who was an elder from the tribe of Judah called Nishon. Nishon was the first one to cross the Red Sea. He was the first one to walk through the Red Sea until it came up to his nostrils. Because he had the courage, he was like a lion of Judah. He was unafraid. He stood by faith and walked. And in walking, as an example, Judah had that authority. And the Sean, when the water came up to his nose, that's when God 
blew his nostrils and opened the Red Sea. Amen. And so out of Nashorn came Zalman. Zalman married Rahab from Jericho, who was the prostitute. And they had a son called Boaz. Boaz married Ruth. Amen. And they had a son called Obed. Obed had a son called Jesse. Jesse had a son called David. And out of David came the line of Judah, the king, which is Jesus. Amen. From that bloodline, the line of Judah. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so here, the blessings that were meant for the firstborn were given, divided to three, three tribes that got, got more. But if you look at the map, uh, I can't show it today, but I'll break down the map. And Joseph wasn't given, uh, what was the last um, blessing? Because there's three. The double portion of inheritance. And so the double portion was not given to Joseph, uh, but was given to his son, Ephraim, and who was Joseph's other son? Manasseh, okay? Uh, Manasseh. And so he had two sons. And so you don't see on the map of Israel a portion of land for Joseph. It's given to his grandsons, okay? Jacob's grandsons called Manasseh and Ephraim. And so here, Judah means praise the Lord. Dan means he judged. Naphtali means my struggle. So Dan and Naphtali, who was their mom? If the first four children were from Leah, no, they weren't from Rachel, but they were from Rachel's maid, okay? Maid, okay, the servants. And so here, Dan and Naphtali came from Rachel's uh, maid. Did you know that Jacob only had his bed in Rachel's tent? Didn't have it in any other, not in Leah's tent, not in, only in Rachel's tent. And so Dan and Naphtali came from the servants of, of Rachel. Her name was Bilhah. Okay? And then the next one was Gad and Asher. And they were from the servant of Leah. Okay? And so Leah named them good fortune and happiness because they came from Leah's servant, okay? And so Rachel named Dan and Naphtali because it wasn't from her. It wasn't from her womb, but from her servant. And so she said, God, he is judge, you know? God has given me a baby, not through myself. You know, I'm longing for a, a baby from my husband. Uh, Jacob, but God has given it through my servant, Bilhah. And so Le um, Dan and Naphtali came from, from Rachel, a servant, okay? That's why she named it, He Judged My Struggle. And so <clears throat> Gad and Asher came from Zilpah, which is Leah's servant. And then Issachar and Sebulon came from Leah, okay? And so they, they make the six children of Jacob from Leah, okay? Which means Leah was so thankful to have more kids to Jacob, which she named them reward and honor. That's the meaning of their names, okay? And then lastly, um, Joseph and Benjamin were from Rachel, okay? Which Rachel named Joseph being add to my family, okay? That's the meaning of Joseph and Benjamin, son of my righteousness. And so, just like uh, Mother Diana, she named uh, Alita, she named Esther Alita. Uh, and because Pastor Willie came and then he named her Esther, okay? But that's just like Benjamin, okay? Benoni means son of my sorrow, son of my pain. And, and that's what uh, Rachel was feeling because she had a, she was about to die and she actually died after giving birth. Rachel died 
after giving birth to Benjamin. But, but Jacob changed that name to say, Ah, Benjamin, you are son of my right hand. Your mom she passed away, but I'm going to name you son of righteousness. Amen? And so here these 12 names and their meanings actually reveal to us. Um, uh, Junior, can, can, do you remember sharing this before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so here the, the, the names have a, a special uh, revelation uh, of Jesus. And so let's read what those names if you, if you look at it let, let's just read it one more time before i, I bring the meaning uh on the board and, and the prophetic meaning from jesus okay behold reuben means behold a son is born to us simeon one who hears levi means attached judah means praise the lord dan means he judged Naphtali means my struggle gad means good fortune Asha means happiness. Ishkar means reward. Sibylon means honor. Joseph means add to my family. Benjamin means son of righteousness. Now if we put all these names together and their meanings, we have this. Behold, a son is born unto us, one who hears us and became attached unto us. Praise the Lord. He judged our struggle and brought us good fortune, happiness, reward, honor. He added to his family and called us the sons of righteousness. Praise God. This reveals the salvation that Jesus brings to each and every one of us. And God hid it in the names of the 12 sons of Jacob to bring to us ah. Uh, beautiful meaning actually reveals uh, his son. Um, do you know, are you able to correct um, just a few uh, unto and fortune, I think it is, and family? Unto us and then fortune and family. And family. Yeah. Amen. Yes, this is. Yeah. One, one, her name was Dina. Dina, yeah. Yeah, no, it was uh, actually from Leah. Yeah, from Leah. And so there were 13 children from these four uh, women. All right. Amen. Before we close off, uh, everybody clear? Let's have a big amen for for God's word, uh, for the lesson this morning. Uh, just bow your heads and I'll close us off in a word of prayer. Father, to you, uh, our names are special. They have a purpose. They have a meaning. And they draw us closer to your son. And so we pray, Lord, and just as important to you as our name and our being, I pray that you may help us to understand that nobody loves us more than you. We bless our, our families, each and every one of us, as you have blessed us today with your word. And this we pray in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen.